So psychology and psychiatry has been held, infamously held by the neck because of pills. It's something that, you know, has been like a raising concern in everybody's mind because at least that, that stigma of going to counsellors have fortunately come down a little. But uh, the fact that people go to psychiatrists and the fact that they are prescribed pills is, is somehow still there. You, you're you know? telling me? I'm not… I'm not rubbishing the science. I said, if things are going wrong with your life, it's bad enough. If you get depressed, you're only multiplying the problem. For this, the activists have been… you also? You also? Okay. Okay, I'll explain that. I… I very much understand. I'm closely associated with various people who are in the profession. And uh, there are many people, because every day I'm meeting thousands of people, not everybody is perfectly sane, lot of them go off, they need doctor's help, everything. It's not we're discounting that. But if you do not bring the fundamental responsibility in every human being that their physical and mental health is their business, if you do not bring this from an early age, you will see lot more people will go off. Don't think everybody is pathologically ill, no. Those who are pathologically ill without medication for periods of time, they may not be able to come out at all. Some of them will never come out, that is also there, that's a different matter. But we are talking about all the fringe kind of madness, which all of us have. Something goes wrong, I can also drive myself into depression. I can also drive myself into depression, something that I want doesn't happen. Everybody can… capable of driving themselves into depression, isn't it so? Is it possible or not? So what you're saying is depression is a, is not a choice? I mean, is that what you're saying? You think depression is a choice? Please understand, there are some who are pathologically ill. It gets them in spite of themselves, but many of them push themselves into it. Suppose you get very angry, what is the expression you use? I'm mad at you. So consciously, willingly you're getting mad because you get some results in the society. If you keep trying it, because the line between sanity and insanity is so thin, if you push, push, one day you will cross. There are many, many, many people in the world who need not be ill, both physically and mentally, not just mental illness I'm talking. Both physically and mentally, they need not be ill. See, right now, for uh, last fifty years, some millions of cardiac surgeries have been done. Today, surgeons are clearly telling you, if you go off red meat, you eat the right food, if you exercise, you will not come for the surgery table. Is that uh, against your uh, cardio cardiology? Why is uh, psychology such an insecure profession? <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, there is a certain diagnostic criteria for… so, I might be sad, I might be extremely sad, but that does not mean that I am depressed. I am entitled to my who? sadness. See, please, who doesn't know this? <laughs> Do I look so simplistic that I don't understand somebody is sad and somebody is depressed? But is it possible that many people push themselves into depressive states at certain times in their life and the same people also came out in a determined way? Is it there? Thousands of them? Is it there or no? Yes. Many of them. So, if I say it is open, everybody need not end up with chemicals. Maybe it's against a particular profession, but we're talking for humanity. Right. Uh, thank you, Sadhguru. Uh, although I don't think Anjali is fully convinced uh, on the answer's tangent. Oh, 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 how, how do you get uh, fully convinced or not convinced on a fact? If it's your opinion, you can be convinced or not convinced. Is it a fact? that many of you, I'm saying most of you are young, you've not seen much life, but even in this little life that you have seen, there were moments when you crossed your sadness and became depressed for a few days. Has it happened to you? Yes. And most of you have come out of it without anybody's help or maybe with a friend or a, somebody who mentored you a little bit, have you? Yes. These are facts, these are not opinions.